Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're back in our version of Scotland. Well, southern Glasgow anyway. And today we'll be off a little closer to Newton to uh, start finishing off another line that we can have running that will be running for the rest of the series. And uh, then we'll be moving on to Neilston after that. I don't know how many stations will fit in. We've got to put in Burnside. And then I think it's Kirk Hill, Kirk Hall. Before we get going, not much has changed on the map other than what I've uh, been hunting around on the workshop for, and that is diesels, because today we say temporarily goodbye to steam and hello to a lot of BR Blue diesel. We've got some Scott Rail BR Blue as well, so that should look the part. We don't have the exact trains that we've been running everywhere, but we do have some that are close. Others that would have run at some point on the various lines. Okay, UI is up. And uh, where are we heading today? We'll be uh, leaving the steam trains on until the end. We're heading up this way. We've got to get this station in. And in fact, I'm not happy with the direction I took here as it kind of wiggles down rather than up. And we do want to gain some height, which is good because uh, that's what it does. And we just have to remember when we get to, I will look it up on the map shortly, but to there, that we need to uh, start heading down to Newton. Which, looking at the lay of the land here, does suggest that exactly what happens. So we'll be following the terrain slightly and uh, as best we can without it being too steep now we know that it's 50 mile an hour out here so we're going to start with that and we're going to wiggle down a little as you can see we'd have to go up quite aggressively if we were to uh, follow the terrain completely just allow it to do this instead and gently head up now we won't be going as far south as it actually wiggles and uh, let's get that nice and flat before we do anything. So it doesn't uh, mess up the terrain when we lay out other tracks there. I don't know what that flashing is. That's very bizarre, isn't it? There we go. Put that like that. Smooth it out. It should make this a little better. Yeah, that'll do. Well, there we go. Official episode early on. Goodness me. I do want to thank you on your feedback for these and... There's a reason that this bit of dirt exists either side of the track. As a, as a three foot rule, I believe. You feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Where there should be no vegetation such as this within three foot of the track. Oh so yeah, these would be all a bit close. We can deal with that though, can't we? We can get this and uh, do a bit of weeding. There you go. Although it's now took the uh, grass away. What I should have done is just paint the dirt back in. I will tidy all this up as we uh, finalise. Uh, it was asked, when will all these guides be uh, removed? Well, as you can see in some places, as we detail, this will be removed. In fact, this is technically finished. So we don't need that there, do we? What we can do is just get uh, basic grass that the game uses. Is that the right colour? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, it's not quite the right colour. Is it the light one? It might be light green. Ah, there we go. Light green. We'll uh, get rid of that. We don't need it there anymore. I think the actual grass is a combination of the two, isn't it? It would be something like this. And uh, then that is what the game does. Something like that anyway. Which is uh, rather nice. We're not going to do that though because we'll be here all day. We'll just get the light green and uh, we'll take it out. That way it also ensures that it takes everything out and we're not left with little spots. This side, we're not finished here yet. We're going to have some nice detailing over there. This, however, is, is done now. Same here, we're going to get rid of that. And all of this, we don't need this here. Although we're... Oh, what, you got it on? Yeah, stick that up to four. Makes it my life a little easier. Nothing detailing-wise is really happening over here. 
other than buildings and possibly some AI as well. Now we can get rid of this in here though. All of it's going. But anyway, I'll go ahead and do more of that because we've got to get a station in today, haven't we? I'd like to get this in. So let's take a look at the map. Burnside. That's where we're heading. Uh, we just put in Croftfoot. And uh, we've already got King's Park in. And the next station along, Kirkhill. Not Kirk Hall. And then, of course, Newton. Now, the beauty of Kirk Hill here is it's just a normal station. We're not going to have the curve. What we're going to do is finally use one of the simple stations, just get that in and connect it uh, to there. However, I would like to get this curve. It looks like we curve down to the south, then head up a little bit to the north. And this is the one where we have this little bridge here, which I do want to try and put in. And the other one is uh, something we've done before, where we head down to the road. Right, we do have this main road that we have to put in. A730. Where does that go? Does that go up to somewhere we've got? It does. It connects up to a road we have on our map. Right. That has to go in then. Well, let's get back in game and uh, see if we can't make this work. I guess being a little further south wouldn't matter because we can make up the the ground back to the junction here. Now, this junction, where Newton's going to sit, is going to be much bigger than half scale because we want to detail that up quite nicely, don't we? And there's a bit of a gap, isn't there, to the next station uh, after Newton. So, yes, we'll do something like that. Given that, then... Should we head these down a little further and keep it straight? Where's that road? It's this road here. That will be our A730. So that's going to glide around something like that and then come through there. So we just need a straight bit. And yes, we can definitely head up because the road's got to go underneath. If that's one, we'll go two ticks up. 20%, that's the slope. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe we can do it, uh, let's go 31. I love this slope, 31%. That's great. And then we'll bring this in as well, as long as it stays at 50. Then we'll have our straight bit just here for the bridge, somewhere like that. And then we can have our stations a little further to the east than they would be. As we slowly join back up, then we're going to get the turn in. As long as we stay at 50, that's what the uh, the track speed is. And then the station's going to be on a curve here, isn't it? I know we're digging in a bit deep. We need to make a bit of room here so that we can have this bridge across. Right, where do we want you? Probably here. And we'll have you a little bit longer than 80 as we head out. And then we'll bring this up. Keep it flat. There we go. Yes, I like it. We need to leave a little bit of room, don't we? For our little stair thing we're going to do. And we'll do the same at this end. Because we've got to do that entrance onto the road. And then we'll just try and get this to link in somehow. You go up there. And then into there. Will that leave us enough room? I guess we don't want it too long, do we? It might leave us enough room. Going to make that side a little wobbly. We'll see how it looks once it's in. Terrain tools. We do want this bit flat. We may need to delete this either side. And then dig us a little trench down here. Otherwise, it's not going to do a very good job of the terraforming. There we go. And we want to be pretty much the same either side, don't we? That should be better. We might as well do it there and there as well. This is all supposed to be flat. We'll do it along the side. And what we'll do is we'll delete this and go along like that. Then we can put this back in following where it was before. Do you know I'm tempted to just keep with the curve here so that we've got more room to play with. Yes, and that gives me an excuse to flatten this section so that we're 
not struggling with the terrain so much. Then we'll head out like that. There we go. Beautiful. And this we're going to redo and it's going to maintain the curve just so it, uh, it works better for us when we're doing our detailing. We'll flatten that as well. Don't forget to do that. Get you in like that. Nice and flat and then we can have a nice pavement. We'll delete this back. Give us a little bit of ground. All right, get that like that. Delete this section. We might as well just leave it. It does taper this way, but obviously our scale is going to cause a few issues, especially trying to fit a pavement and then the mod in there as well. The bridge mod. So this is going to go around like that. That around like that. This might give us a little bit more of a gap. Yes, and now it's not making a meal of the uh, terrain. That means this can head back further. Yes, more room. Love it. Perfect. Oh, he's going to sleep. I never knew they went to sleep. Or just laying down, not really asleep. Is anyway, that's not doing this station, is it, at all? Now, we can leave ourselves a little bit of room here. There are two separate bridges. Let's leave us a little bit of space as well so that we can uh, put any signals because I can't remember where they were. There we go. Our station's built a bit rough. Um, I guess we're going to have to take these off. That's fine. We can also detail that up, couldn't we? Uh, what I would like to do before we do anything else is see if we can't get us three meter walkway down here. That connects to the it connects to the station, guys. Oh, it's lovely. Okay, okay. Part one is gonna work. We can do this and it'll be functional. Old walkovers, I think these are the ones. Can we do this? They're a little bit too short. We need a middle one though, don't we? Detailed overpass constructor with short modules without high ground entrance. Perhaps these are the ones. Terrain off. Collision supports off. Let's see if we can't do this, guys. I'll be all sorts of happy if this works. Okay, that like that. Then we need a bridge either side and another bridge. Another bridge. There we go, sort of. So far, it's almost there, isn't it? Yeah, it needs to be a little bit higher than that. I wonder if we can raise it up a touch. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're almost working. Well, then it'll be stairs like one side and then they'd have stairs the other side as well. But two Is it like that. No, like that. That's how it would be. I just don't know how I'm going to get it to fit in. Do we even need it like that? Could we do something like this instead? That would be better, wouldn't it? We've got stuff here as well. On? Oh, I see. I mean, they don't work so we'll turn those off something like that would be perfect uh, I just don't know how we're gonna get it to uh, stop colliding can we raise this up something like that and can we get our path in if we connect to that path is that gonna work come on please oh you're not connecting oh these don't connect guys after all that that's awkward. Do these connect? Yeah, those connect. Why don't the other ones? I mean, we can have these. It's just a real shame. I guess these ones are broken. Well, there we go. Guys, as long as one of them work, I don't mind. Get that all nice and smooth. Get that across. And this across a little further. And then smooth that out. The other one would be better, admittedly. But uh, the fact we can get this working at all makes me all sorts of happy. Get you in there. There we go. I mean, yes, it's a modern version and it's technically the Netherlands, but we've got it. And we'll need to detail that up a bit. And we have a path there as well, uh, which we might be able to now connect the two up. And hopefully it will look the business. All right, you connect. Go from here. And connect there. Perfect. Better, isn't it? There we go. And then we can uh, tidy up the rest with some concrete. And we've got this bit over here, which will be 
a road that heads around that way. So we'll get our terrain and we'll go straight like this. I mean, should we come up to the, I guess, the ground, right? Up to like there. And then can we do the same across here? Oh, there we go. Yes, like that. That's how high it's going to be. Perfect. Yes. And obviously the other side's going to start heading down. Now at least we touch, don't we? Can we make this bit work with a little road? The hard bit is making sure that uh, we don't get that glidey thing. But also, we need to make sure we've got a path happening. And this needs to go up like that. That needs to go across like that. We've got it. We're in. Okay. That's good. And then we've got the, the main road coming across here. So we need to make ourselves a nice bridge. Just there would do, wouldn't it? So we'll bring this all the way up to meet that one so that our bridge segment here is identical either side. We're going to have to hide this. So I can move this over there. There we go. And I'm just going to go with a nice grey one. Keep it simple. There we go. Beautiful. Get you in there. Turn that off. Right, that might give us what we need to put our road under. We will dig us a nice little hole down here and flatten this section out. That's going to be our main road that's heading under. Obviously, we're going to need it a little bit lower than that. Yes, that should be that should be enough. We'll go out a little bit further either side just to make detailing a little easier. And then we can start heading up either side to meet the terrain again. Let's make sure we can fit this in. It's going to be, I'm going to say one of these roads. Can we get under there? And can we head up quite a bit further? Yes, if we keep electric on. Oh, we've got plenty, haven't we? Plenty of room. So what we can do is bring this back up. Probably there will do us. And then flatten it all to that size. In fact, take that up a bit. Let's do things a little more efficiently. There we go. Get back to your road. Hold shift. Ooh, well, technically, that's perfect. I know the bridge is on a bit of a slope, so if we get the highest side... How's that? Almost. Almost, guys. Just down a touch. That should do. Let's flatten all that out. There we go. Keep that flat. We're in. Let's turn off uh, the electrification there. Right, we've got our main road in. This is going to go all the way up that way. And we'll probably meet the terrain again. We'll do something gentle. Go something... Oh, although, are we just heading up anyway? We are. Right, yes, we kind of dive down. Now, this is, this is just going to be a rough estimation of where that's going to go. There we go. That road needs to connect. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's in. Right, what do we do this side? I guess we start heading up because we don't need a tunnel, do we? I don't know what we're doing with it past this point. Really, we just need the bridge in. And I'll work on this side of it since we've got that connection there. Now, what do we do? Now we've got to continue heading up, haven't we? And it looks like we keep going this way. And we don't want to go up there. We want, what was it? Uh, 40 is too much. Something like 30, 32. And then it gives us a bit of a gap there for our bridge. We are going to need a bridge, aren't we? And a gap for our stairs there. We can start wiggling this around. Are we gradually coming up? Oh yes, but what do we need? We need that tunnel. It looks like we're still going to be okay at that. So what we can do is just keep going round and then level out here so that we can make a tunnel easy. Meaning that can go up there probably. Yes. And this can go over there. Have I changed the name of this? This is Burnside, isn't it? There we go. Burnside Station is 
in, well, apart from this bit, we've, remember we've got the stairs here. This is going to be Kirk Hill. And this one's going to be a fairly simple station for us. And we're going to keep it like that so that we can make us a tunnel directly after Kirk Hill. I'm going to assume we're in a cutting anyway. Uh, given how the station is sitting. Oh, do you know what? Save it. Save it, man. All saved. Let's see if we can't get Kirk Hill in. Buildings. We're going to go for a good old faithful that we haven't used in a million years. Okay, slight exaggeration, but it's just going to be this. We're going to have it at 120. Will you not connect? Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what we might need. Let's get us a flat section here to work with anyway. Right, will you go in now? There we go. We're going to have to uh, delete that bit regardless because we need the correct tracks in there. So we're going to reconfigure this and delete these back. We are having it 120 and then we need our tracks 50 electrified and it's going to be there, there. And we'll stick it on this side as well. We get to put little uh, huts and stuff in if we want on this one. Which is really cool. And then we'll go to platforms. Uh, no, actually it'll be King's Cross. Yes, King's Cross platforms. There we go. And we'll get those in just there. And we'll rename this. It's not canvas slang. Kirk Hill. There we go. And I'm actually going to put what they put in, which is KKH. There we go. Kirk Hill. And then that's it. We should be able to connect back up to here. And we've got... Uh, we've got two stations in, guys. Admittedly, not much in the way of uh, detailing, but we've got them in. And as long as that's 50, it's beautiful. There we go. And do you know what we can do here? We can stick in a temporary crossover right there and call that a good one. And we can start thinking about heading down to Newton now. And in fact, I think we're just going to make a tunnel here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, what sort of tunnel is it? I don't really know. A tunnel type one. It's not that, is it? It would be more that, if anything. Yes, we can start heading down. Oh, it's beautiful. Guys, we're going to head back down and meet up at Newton like that. Does that work for us? Yes, and then we can have the housing and stuff up the top there. Oh, it's it's we're in. Sometimes they just slot in place. Uh, we need to configure this. Do we have do you know what? Leave the detailing. We'll leave it like this for now. We're almost connected up here as well. I may need to redo this road as we're a little scooty over. We're going to put in some signals. They're not the correct ones. Just so we dictate uh, where our trains are going. We're going to have one up here as well. Another one just here. This is just for blocking. Should we decide to put more trains on? Up here. I don't know if I've left enough room at the end of Kings Park. So we'll see. We might have to use... Uh, the leany out ones. I think they go a little further in. I'm not sure. No, they don't. Oh, well, that's a shame. Well, I mean, those kind of work, don't they? I'm pretty sure they're, they're like these, aren't they? And they're like those. They're just the two. But we don't have the, the single light ones that can do a bunch of fancy stuff. We only have the... This will do. I think this will do. It has to be two-way. <laughs> So that's going in there. Then we'll have the other one on the other side. I think this is here. And we're going to have a an actual use for a ground light over here. I hope I'm doing th this justice, Alan. Alan Charles has been helping me out with the signaling. Um, one way, that would be two way, wouldn't it? That way. I believe. Is that right? Would it be that side or would it be that side? It wouldn't make much sense to be that side, would it? I mean, we can't put them on that side. I mean, this should tell you which way that's facing, shouldn't it? 
Alan says it's going to be looking towards King's Park, which would, would have to be there, except I would put it on that side. I guess there's going to be a main signal here. Is No, it's a bit close to the junction here. Even though I want to put it this side, because that would make more sense, I'm going to... All right, we'll put it in. Maybe there's some sort of maneuvers that could possibly be done having it that side. Not keen on that. Maybe. It's the only one we've got. And uh, we've got the signals here. I would say that's inaccurate. But are we missing any other crossovers? I don't think so. Is, unless there's one on here. That would then make a bit of sense. We have the one on this side. Uh, yeah, I'm not happy with this. I'm going to be corrected on that. I know I am. Yeah, that's going to change. Uh, there should be another one this end, though. So we'll put it on one of these because they sit nicely. Where's the two? That's the closest thing we've got. Plus it uh, kind of peeks around the, the mast there. There we go. We've got some signals going. One on the end here. Possibly. How close can we get you? Just there? These would be one way. There we go. One there. Uh, one on the end here, one way, yes. And then up here we're not done yet. I mean, I would like some blocking, but we're not going to have many trains running this at the moment. Okay. Is this looking a bit better? I just don't know what we're doing with that at the moment. Uh, I don't think there would be another signal here. Not that I can remember. I mean, it would be there, if anything. Well, it could sit over this junction. It wouldn't really matter. Maybe? Maybe there's one guarding here? No, I'm not going to put it in. In fact, guys, go and take a look at the video. Do we have a signal here? The latest one I've just put out is heading over this. Out that way. Uh, I'll go and have a look as well. And then we'll report back on Sunday. But yeah, there we go. We've extended quite a bit do you know we could make use of a assets killer cans a double aws magnet bi-directional there we go we'll get it about halfway we'll drop it down so it sits on the track nicely is that it just there there we go i don't know whether it is bi-directional but that works i think for us uh, we'll not put one on this. Well, why not? We can do one, can't we? Uh, it wouldn't be too far away. Is that touching? Maybe go down one more. They don't snap to the track, so you have to do these manually. As long as they look to the part. Yes, and they're about centre. <laughs> Just about. Lovely. It's only because these tracks are platform tracks and the snapping is disabled. So the only easy way to do that is when they're like this. Here, I'm, I might rebuild this bridge still. I'm not overly keen with it. Uh, you can do these a lot easier. Something like that. There we go. Much easier. I believe there's a signal down here, isn't there? Uh, we can put it up here, though. That should do just fine. We're slowing down to 20 there. I've got some of these speeds wrong, but we'll work on those. And uh, yes, guys, shall we get some diesels on? We've actually gone all the way up to Kirk Hill. Our next stop is the end of the line for the Niels uh, the Nielsen, the Newton route. Then we've got to head off to Nielsen that way. Let us first extend this line, the Newton line. It's not doing that any longer. Uh, we're going to manage this. I love the way Croft Foot is the first station. That's complicated, to say the very least. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, why is that? Why did I do it that way? Do you know, I'm tempted to just redo that with Glasgow Central being the, the start. There we go, guys. That didn't take long at all. Beautiful. That's pretty much it, isn't it? And um, make sure this is on five, which is four in real life. Uh, yes. Just want to color this uh, green for now. Make sure everything's going 
in the right direction, which it is. Yes. We've got everything. We're using our temporary crossover over there. Over, over there. And we should be good now. That's, that's the Newton line. And we'll put this back as, I guess we could have it as a darker brown or something. That'll do. No, do you know, keep it orange. It's fine. Oh, yes. And let's make sure we do this fancy stuff over here again. I love this bit. Okay, what's up with you? Train 7, probably. Well, we're changing you to a diesel anyway. It's time to dieselify and bring on some BR Blues. Uh, we're going to have to stop you and start you again. Here we go. The next stop is Kings Park. Manage vehicles. We're going to replace this guy. Now, we don't have the class 303, which is the first electric train, which would have been uh, running this. About the time we're kind of going for with the British rail trains here. But I do have these lovely things. I have a 104 and we have it if we scroll right down here in we even have it in mexican bean scott rail which is absolutely wonderful but we also have these br blue gray scott rail and uh, the 303 was called the blue train which would mean it would be the uh this wouldn't it the blue variation um, but we don't have like all blue Scott Rail, I don't think. No, there are so many. Absolutely wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Scott Rail because uh, it says Scott Rail on it at the very least. And we're going to go with three car. Three car, three engines seems a little excessive. We're going to go with three car, one engine. And we'll put that on there. We could make it six. It would be 106, wouldn't it? Two of them. Uh, 107 uh, no that would be way too big for our map 299 horsepower look at that and uh, we'll get you in uh, it's got a bit of a strange engine sound but some of the other sound effects on this are absolutely wonderful look at that and it looks beautiful look at all the detail underneath here absolutely wonderful and the braking sound we're going to listen to it shortly and uh, these guys are going to be changed as well. Well, we could have had the 110 going out there, couldn't we? In just blue. No, no, grand stick to your guns. We're going to have these as the same ones, because that's what you'd see back in the day. A lot of the same thing going on. Now, uh, where's our Scott Rail? The three car, one engine. Get you on and replace those. There we go. Steam will be back. At some point, where's our next train? We've only got one doing the uh, opposite direction. Uh, but we're going to move one anyhow. This one, which was currently having our Highland line on, is going to be the 104, I think. We're going to put the 104 on there. And we'll put, well, I guess we should keep it the same colours. Yeah, three car, 104. And we'll replace you. Now, the 110 looks very similar, doesn't it? What's the difference between a 104 and a 110? Those look almost identical. I'm sure someone out there will know. Have I put the right train on? Is that a 104? A 110, sorry? Yes, it is. What's the difference between a 110 and a 104? I think the fronts are very different. Yes. Oh, yes, I see. We've got, oh, they're completely different. Dear, oh dear. Of course they're different grand. They're like ridiculously different. Yes, I can see now. I like these little uh, destination boards they've got at the front. And this is awesome. The little uh, light on the back. I'm just going to play it. There we go. Look at the little light on the back. That's fantastic. Anyway, we are not done. What else do we need to, uh, I know, it'll be a shame to say goodbye to this let's just watch it go into glasgow probably keep the same scott rail coaches on the back though it's starting to look fantastic very dieselified there's the strange engine noise on this one i don't i don't know 
It kind of sounds like when you put a piece of card in your back spoke uh, to pretend that you're a motorbike when you're uh, growing up as a, a small child like I was. But yes, yes, it, it doesn't sound great, but the rest of it sounds awesome and we'll listen to that before we head off. Uh, which one's this one? This is doing the circle, so that's going to be the same, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to change you to the cardboard motorbike train. I mean, we could have it as something different. But I'm just going to keep these. There you go. Put you on there. And this, we need to quickly pause it. Change this over to something completely different. And the choices I've got are... Do we go with, I've got so many class 37s, I've got class 44, 45 and 46. We've got class 25s, which could pull trains on the cath cart. We've got uh, class 47s, we're going BR Blue, Virgin Farewell. They all, well, they're all Virgin Farewell, those. I may be missing some, oh no, there we go, we've got some up there. We've got a Scott Rail one. Do we have a class 37 Scott Rail? I mean, if we have a class 37, I mean, I'm really tempted now to put a 47 on here. Now that I've seen that little baby Scott Rail, it worries me that it's so tiny. What's it look like? <laughs> What's up with that icon? It's absolutely fantastic. Wagons, passenger, what can we go with? Do we have matching Scott Rail on here? I think these are the older Scott Rail. Would they be Mark IIs instead? Mark IIA in Scott Rail. I think I saw one. Regional Intercity. Oh, no. We don't have the matching Scott Rail in here unless I just can't see it. Regional Railways. BR Blue Grey. Swallow. We don't have them in this, unfortunately. Uh, Mark Ones. 10 variants there's 318 variants there of buffet and catering coaches mark 2 oh here we go br mark 2 any of these in scott rail yes there we go guys uh, one we, we can't have it very long unfortunately 59 maybe we can have four we can have a DBO on the end, couldn't we? Maybe that would work. Uh, possibly. We got it in Scott Rail. How long does that make it? 117. I know it's a bit short. Okay, this might crash. Or not. Guys, <laughs> look what we've got here. Yes, Scott Rail. Uh, this is fantastic. You can drive from this end, right? That's what the DBO's for. And when it switches round, that's wonderful. And it should be being hauled, not by a mini Class 47. Look at that. But a, a full-size one. Oh, yes. We're going to have to see that. Oh, there's that sound. That's nice and growly, isn't it? Now, it's possibly facing the wrong way. But... Will he drive out? He will! He's driving out with a DBO. On the front. Do we like that, guys? Oh, that's wonderful, isn't it? Now, can you actually sit in there? You can. It's very quiet at this end. Is that how that works? It just It's just a like a DVT, is it? There we go. We are full on dieselified, I believe. And th I love this. I love this a lot. Would this have operated down here? We're improvising a lot, aren't we? Which one's this? Is this doing the... That's the circle. Oh, it's wonderful. That one... Where's the... Where's our one that's heading out to the new places? Oh, it's only on the way back just now. There we go. Let's get on board this. Are you only just getting to Kirk Hill? Well, I mean, possibly. That's not bad, is it? We've got not a lot to see, though. 
up there. Just a lot of uh, cutting the sound of that. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. And we're going to get on up this end and then head back. And hopefully we'll see some of these other trains operating uh, when we meet back up. All right, guys, we're on board our uh, uh, Newton service, the Class 104 uh, with the motorbike cardboard sound, heading into Glasgow Central. And we're inside, we're actually inside because I don't, I don't mind. I know it's low res, but it should be. It doesn't look too bad, does it? I know how we've got a beam right in front of us there. But if you head too far to the side, unfortunately, you can't see much. Oh, I guess we could go out. Yeah, well, you know, we'll go like that. That's fine. I know you guys like to see all the details. It does do a better job of the... Uh... Oh, they... No, I found one where it's not interfering. Guys, we've got it. All right. Then uh, I'll let you go into Glasgow Central. We're going to finish off up to Newton when we come back and then we're going to connect both to Cambuslang and Kirkhill and then we can start thinking about detailing a little bit I'll try and do some in between as well and finish off some of the roads but that's been a good episode two stations in we're into a bit of diesel heritage now I do like the class 47 we'll take a look at that a little more when we come back on Sunday. So anyway, actual cab ride. There we go. And until next time. Take care.